is really one of the most key parts in Dark Spore. As you progress through the game, the planets you beam down to and the enemies you meet will become progressively harder. One key way to keep your squads alive is to collect better loot to upgrade your creatures with. Like most action role-playing games, Dark Spore is mainly about finding and collecting the most powerful loot for your creatures. What makes Dark Spore unique is how many different kinds of loot there is to collect, as well as the way you can collect it. There are two different ways to acquire loot in Dark Spore. The first is dropped loot. You'll find this, you know, anytime you kill an enemy, there's a chance it'll drop loot. One of the most basic would be health and energy orbs. These not only replenish the health and energy of your current creature, but actually of the creatures in your squad and the creatures that your friends are controlling as well. You'll also collect DNA helixes along the way. DNA is the currency of Dark Spore, and it is necessary when you want to attach genetic parts to your creatures. The parts you find are based on the level of the enemies you're facing. Parts in Dark Spore can be found in four different rarity levels. There are common items which just increase your health. There are uncommon items which have a random suffix that will give you an additional stat. Then there are rare items which not only have a suffix but have additional stats and are more powerful. And then finally there are the epics which have two additional stats and are even more powerful. A lot of the strategy of Dark Spore comes from taking loot that you find and pairing it up with the correct heroes. Catalysts are instant buff crystals that drop in a level. As you can see here, you have a grid that you'll be filling up with catalysts as you pick them up. Each catalyst has a different color. When you fit three catalysts in the same row or column that are of the same color, it'll actually make all of them more powerful. So savvy players in co-op will be able to trade with their friends, perhaps collecting all of the red catalysts, which will give them lots and lots of bonuses as they fill in all of the rows and columns in their grid. Another way to get loot is from unlocking the obelisks that are randomly placed on planets. You will be able to complete a level without finding any of the obelisks. However, for the completionists out there, seeking out all the hidden obelisks on a level can really pay off. Not only do they drop loot for your group, but collecting them all will increase your chance of acquiring more rare loot at the end of the level. And then there's cash out loot. So when you choose to cash out in the push your luck system, you'll be awarded with kind of more powerful handcrafted loot. Here you can see that I got a gold medal because I killed every single enemy, a silver medal for finding obelisks, and a bronze medal because I finished with only a single creature remaining. On this screen, I can now decide to either collect my reward, or I can put it all on the line and face this next challenge. But if I continue and fail, I'll lose all of the bonus loot that I'd earned from this chain. If I choose to cash out, Helix will evaluate my performance across the entire chain of levels and award one piece of loot per planet completed. The better the medals that I've earned, the better my odds are of earning rare and epic bonus loot. But even this part is more powerful than most of the loot that you'd find in a level. Thanks guys for listening, and we'll have more of these videos coming out shortly, and I can't wait to tell you guys more about the game.